Okay, let's dive straight in. We have heard about it. We have heard that Puff Daddy, Sean Coombs, has settled with Cassie. There is a lot in the press that is horrific. I will not repeat it here. It is a disgusting. It is disgraceful. Um, they've settled. Apparently, they've settled in court. So let's see. I've already shuffled the cards. Let's pull them up. We've done some fantastic readings lately. We've been diving deep into a lot of celebrity readings. If you want to know about any other celebrities, let me know. This is all allegedly. This is all entertainment readings. But hey, come on. There is so much in the press about this situation that honestly... I don't think anything's alleged out there in the open what the press is doing. All right, so let's just see what we have here. Let's just see, uh, bring it up here. Oh, gosh. All right, let's get started. I'm sort of taking it back a little bit here. All right, the first card is happiness. All right, that's bright happiness. It's time, someone's time to shine. And this is about somebody um, being the magician, somebody pulling the strings. And this is what I'm talking about. We've got somebody who is self-imposing or making things harder for somebody than they should be. Gosh, just let on that. Holy moly. Uh, it's not looking good because this is about imprisonment. This is about somebody in control. Like, I mean, look at that. You've got a hand freaking there in control of somebody's happiness. They're imprisoning them, they're self-imposing them, they're restricting them. Crap. I was not expecting that at all. I, I, I was not expecting that. That's, uh, what can we say about that? Do we tick all the boxes, what's going out in the press? Holy crap. I'm blown away. Are you blown away? I'm freaking blown away by that because we know what that means. That means somebody is in control of somebody's happiness. They've imprisoned them. They've. It's like somebody's um, the master. All right, let's continue. I'm a bit. I'm very taken back by how this reading has started. All right, then we've got the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Mm. Uh, weird because this is about pregnancy it's about new ventures um, and it's about planning was he planning to get pregnant with her like what was he wanting to get pregnant with her like what's the story there uh has he got kids? I think he does have kids, doesn't he? To his first wife that passed away. Um, this guy here, has he got lots of kids to other people or something? There's a feeling here of, um, okay, you've got the Ace of Wands, okay? Think of this. Look at this. It's like a little birthing thing there, a little pregnancy thing. All right, and you've got this person here. But what you've got here is, somebody being numb somebody not emotionally in tune if somebody falls pregnant it's like um so i don't know whether again allegedly whether he made her fall pregnant several times he watched her fall pregnant he wanted to fall pregnant she fell pregnant and he enjoyed the torment of her not um or others i don't know again at all allegedly it's like um Things aren't always what they seem. I feel like this person is numb to the fact of women and what their role is. And it's not just about giving pregnancy. Pregnancy is an emotional thing. It's love. Uh, it, it's, it's a very... Uh, that, this is weird. This is weird. Very, very weird. Now, we've pulled up four cards for the next one, so bear with me here. All right. So then we've got... The next, as I said, there is going to be a few cards popping up here, okay? So we've got somebody who's very judgmental, very, very stubborn. You know, we've got that coming through. Somebody who's very successful. Whew, this is heavy. I, I didn't realise it was going to come through like this. 
somebody who's very negative, pessimistic, and somebody who, with the death reverse, this is like holding on to things, resistance to change. So it's a bit like... <sighs> Yeah, I feel heavy here. Do they feel like that they make things decay? It's, it, it's a bit like they enjoy watching people's success decay. All right, that's what we've got here standing back because the death card is all about, I mean, we, it sounds disgusting, but we think about decay here. You know, we think about stubbornness, but there's a definite feeling here of they like to watch people um, destroy themselves. All right, hopefully we get... I <laughs> don't feel like we're going to get it any happier. It is black. It is a dark reading. I'm sorry. It is, it is, it is what it is. We've got somebody who likes to get rewards. We've got somebody who is... Um, they like ambition. They like rewards. That, that This is somebody who really likes rewards. They like the pat on the back. They love it. They it, It's like they think of um, their partners as a toy, as a reward. And that can also be close friends as well. They think of people around them as um, items, as trophies. You know, they think of people as trophies and it's never good enough for them. You know, they always, they, 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 and I don't know whether this comes from the loss of his first wife, but there's a feeling here of they look at things like trophies. They look at things, you know, like they just look at things in a way that is stuff. They, it's, it's not very emotional. Like, you know, because remember, we've got this part here about this unable to tap into their emotions. And I feel like this person is sort of um they put the guilt on people you know they, they put the guilt on people now the king of wands is about leadership you know and we've seen this here with this male in this reading they're strong they're stubborn you know they wanted this to go away they wanted this to go away they they didn't want their everything to fall down their domestic bliss their home their um, happiness, their love, their celebration. They didn't want this to fall down. They, they wanted to move forward with this very quickly. So I feel like with this settlement, it came through very, very quickly. Um, they didn't want it to linger, you know, and I feel like with this legal predicament that they were in, they didn't want this to linger. Again, it's all allegedly. They really wanted to move forward with this. They were determined to get things done. They were determined to get things signed. You know, this is this determination feeling here. Um, yeah. Oh, now I'm going to shuffle. How does she feel about this? How does Cassie feel about this? You know, Hollywood is holly friggin' weird. I'm Oh, oh, okay. How does she feel? She feels like she's not getting closure from this. Even though there was a settlement here, you know, money doesn't always talk, does it? We obviously want more. You know, we've got her here. This is the isolation. This is her being imprisoned. This is her being self-imposed. This is her trapped. This is her being a victim. But it's a no-win situation. She feels... Um, you can write a check for whatever. I feel that with this situation, she's not getting what she feels that she deserves. And with what's come up earlier, possibly that's what we've seen here. But see the the world upside down. This is about somebody who's very disappointed. You know, somebody who's extremely disappointed. And even with the Four of Cups, I mean, you can see that. Look at this person here. They're, um, she's very... It wouldn't surprise me that, um, yeah, it's quite sad. The decay in her, the loss of the soul. It, it, it's sad here because I don't know whether she'll ever get past this pessimistic, sad um, feeling that she's been... She's not happy with the settlement. It didn't matter how much money she got. It, it she deserves so much more you know she deserved whatever happened whatever was reported to have happened she deserved so much more 
Look, got this guy here. You know what, he, he is upside down, the King of Cups. Normally when we see him upright, and we have seen him upright, we saw him upright with Ben Affleck's reading. Go and watch that one. We saw him upright, you know, like someone who makes people feel good. You know, Here, we've got somebody who's emotionally manipulative. Again, this is coming up. Somebody who is emotionally manipulative. And, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out who that is. You know, we've got somebody who's emotionally manipulative, somebody who's successful, somebody who has great business, savvy, everything they've done sort of has come off, played off. You know, it's sort of like... Um, uh, everything they touch sort of has turned to gold. But we've got this here, and this is about their learning from this. You know, they're learning from this. Is he part of an organisation or something? Or I wonder whether what has been reported, that it's a group, um... And that he's moving away from this group or this group of friends or did somebody teach him to act in this manner or is it a group of people that feel what they've done is okay? Um, because there's a feeling here of people conforming, like it's like a group, a pod of people. But that's what I've got with this. How freaking awful and horrid. So that is my reading there, you know, like, again, I'm going to have to say all allegedly, but hello, look what's out in the press. Go and have a freaking look at it. But look how we freaking started. Somebody robbing somebody's happiness. That is not what we're intended and how we're intended to live in life, you know. That is pure evil right there. So anyway, don't forget to like. Thank you for subscribing with those stars popping up. Um, until next time, don't forget to comment below if you'd like me to talk about any other situation in the press. Until next time.